Tales of the Shire, a Hobbit Day showcase. Join us September 22nd for an inside look at Tales of the Shire. Here is just a smattering of what's in store. This is 15 seconds. Sharing home cooked meals. Here we go. Oh, yeah, mobile we game. Love absolutely. Hobbits. This looks like the guy from Rings of Power Season 1. <laughs> they thought that they're going to. You know what? This game is perfect. Let's show this. Let's show this to the public. Oh my god, man. And with Tales of the Shy. Alright. Uh, oh. Alright. 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 Okay. I know what this game is now. Yeah. Oh my god. Great, she has bad teeth too, so it goes hand in hand. <laughs> oh my god, man. Holy shit. Uh, we want to immerse you in their world. We just really want Tells the Shire to feel like a warm hug. <laughs> Man. Uh, let's see if we can read some of the comments. Oh. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Some people actually was able to put comments in. Imagine shipping this in 2024. Dear Lord, this looks terrible. The whole development team should be arrested for murder and IP. This looks like an early 2000s shovelware. Whoever greenlit this should be should resign. This game feels like a DEI. Just look by looking at it. Yeah, all you need to know about this game summed up in one image. <laughs> <laughs> man, dude. Holy yeah. shit, man. Evil is not able to create anything new. It can only distort and destroy what has been invented or made by the forces of good. Probably, probably something Tolkien has said, right? So I was looking for this one. This is the target audience. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Holy shit. Same so, goes for in the Indiana Jones game that's gonna come out in the final part of the year. So they got ray shield heavily, and they have to they have to block their comments twice. Like, let me see if I can go back. Right here's one, and here's another one. They have to block it twice. Right, so it's like uh, three times, and they actually released a um an update, important update. Go and read it. All of us here at Weta Workshop are excited to have you join us in the Shire, a peaceful corner of J.R.R. Tolkien's world. When a new hobbit steps into Bywater for the very first time, we want that moment to be everything you're hoping for. To ensure we deliver this vision, Tales of Shire will now be launching early 2020. Wait, wait, wait. When was it supposed to release? In like a week. <laughs> okay, that, that's funny. <laughs> oh my god, man! Yeah, that that's pretty. Normally, they they would just like call, call everyone misogynist, bigots, blah blah blah, and still release it. Okay, maybe they're picking up lessons from Concord. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you for your patience and continued support. Be sure to tune in to yeah. our a Hobbit right. Day showcase on September twenty second and learn more. Yeah, I believe they're supposed to showcase it and release it or uh, release it earlier. But yeah, they have to push yeah, it back like, now. Yeah, you have to give them credit. Normally, they would just like throw insults at everyone, say, "Oh, yeah. y'all bigot," blah 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 blah. You, you know the usual drill, and then still release the game anyway. Weta <laughs> Workshop, okay, Weta Workshop, known for creating one of the coolest shits ever, worked on his garbage. What did they make? Sorry, I am not. I'm only. Learning about them now. Weta Workshop. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. They did stuff like this. They do figurines. Okay, so they're not really a uh, game developer. They're more of uh, figurines. They worked on Lord of the Rings. 
Weta, Weta Studios and Weta Workshops is the people that did Lord of the Rings. Lord of like, the Rings figurines or the movie itself? Like Weta Studios did the movie, right? Weta Workshop, they do like a bunch of other stuff. So, so let's see our products. It looks like it is, uh, uh, yeah, it looks like it's a bunch of figures. Yeah, I, th I think they're figurines, right? So let's see, Witcher. Like, look at how good these look. Like, look at ho this. Holy shit, man. Look at this Henry Cavill one. Yeah. You get that, and then you get this garbage. You, you, get, you get this. What is... Oh, my God. Man. So, the thing is, a lot of people don't like they they don't like if you criticize them just letting you know they yeah, exactly. hate it when you criticize them right for yeah. instance right it's these are the same type of people who wrote this lord of the rings of uh on prime, on prime. official account says okay we ship them these are the same people they want us girl to ship that, is that Estrid character married? I don't know. Yeah, 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 she is. I believe so. She thought that the husband died. Yeah. So basically, you're, they're okay with a cheating bitch. Yep. Yep. Right? And then Critical Drinker, like, responds with, what are you, like, 12? And this person responds to that. Jesse Earl, some weird non-binary looking freak. YouTuber, filmmaker, writer on GameSpot, Microsoft, Iran Tomatoes, and Advocate Mag, tricky by birth, and says, yes, because no one ever shipped anyone ever in Lord of the Rings before. Anyways, here's just two boys being straight. So, Gray, just letting you know, if, you, if you're in the military and you hug one of your brothers because they're dead or they're dying, you're gay. Mm -hmm. If you like, these guys are like brothers in arm. They went through all, so much together, and he's basically dying here. And this is gay. Man. That's crazy. Right? And then Drinker re responds with, it never ceases to am amuse me how many people today simply cannot grasp the concept of friendship. Literally, they can't even imagine two people hanging out without wanting to fuck each other. And he quotes yeah, that, to us. That's true. Right? Those who cannot conceive of friendship as a substantive love, but only as a disguise or elaboration of Eros, betray the fact that they have never had a friend. And I believe that person got so mad that limited the engagement from this one. Right? If you actually go down, it's like there's it's like it's actually limited. So right over here. Right. In other words, you have never experienced actual friendship in your entire life. I feel bad for you. Right. Unable to view this post because this account owner limits who can view it because he got destroyed or she or it. I don't know. That person is probably like a monster. But yeah, man, all of them are the exact same people. They're just in different skins. Right. Yep. yep. People who do this. Yeah. That's not going to convince people to play the game. Yep. All of them. And the thing is that whenever they, they get actual like knowledge, some someone who's actually smart counteracts them by saying something super based, they go into hiding. They go back into the troll cave they crawled out from. But yeah, man. Uh, Critical Trigger completely destroyed this person. You got one million impressions, man. Holy shit. Man, but uh, are you going to play this game? Tales of the Shire? Nah. Are you sure? It looks pretty cool. Mm, very tempting for content. <laughs> that, <that's laughs> what... <laughs> oh shit, man. But yeah, dude, it's uh it's good. It's definitely good. That yeah. people are calling them out. It's like stop yeah, it's like, stop making dumb uh, gay shit. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's like if you're if their mindset remains the same, which let's be real, they are. It's no use delaying it. I, I just just release it already because you, you're not gonna listen. You're just you're just trying to delay to I don't know pacify the backlash. But it's still 
what's going to happen is you're just prolonging the inevitable if you don't make necessary changes. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.